Hey there. Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. Commander. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. Okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fair, I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? You're the one who likes things at short range. And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her uh, either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. I guess it depends on who it is. I hope those Cerberus scientists prove useful. Nothing to report, Commander. I'm glad that Jacob guy is going to be all right. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex Cerberus. Just saying.
Commander. At your service. Good to see you again, Shepard. Hey, Commander. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Well, it's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah. I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Commander? Commander?
Commander, something on your mind? Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Commander. tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. 